1974, I was the guest in the home of a Dr. Ralph Sierra, and, uh, <clears throat> and he lived in Puerto Rico, and ICAK was meeting there. I got, to, I got to be the guest in his home, and at that time, he had the largest magnetic laboratory in the world. In fact, he's credited with uh, working with NASA and to eliminate space sickness. You may remember in the early days of the space program, space sickness was a big problem. And he overcame that problem by putting magnets into the feet of the spacesuits, which gave the astronauts a sense of what was up or down, as if it grounded them. You know, it was a huge contribution to um, the, the space program to eliminate the, the space sickness that you don't hear anything more about today. And uh, when we drove to his home, and you, you understand that uh, Puerto Rico is a very tropical climate. He lived in a nice residential neighborhood, very lush vegetation. But when we got to his home, it was very obvious that the vegetation growing on his lot, where his home set, was twice as tall and twice as thick as all the neighbor's vegetation. And we found out the explanation for that was that if he watered his plants with North Pole water, it made the plants grow taller. And if he watered his plants with South Pole water, it made the plants grow thicker. And so he was watering his plants with both North Pole water and South Pole water, which explains the huge vegetation on his lot compared to his neighbor's lot. I, I would invite you to do that experiment at home. Take two little tomato plants, put them on the window seal of your kitchen window where they get equal sunlight, water one of North Pole water, water one of South Pole water, and watch the North Pole watered plant grow tall and watch the South Pole watered plant grow thicker. And on a sidebar, you can, another little experiment you can do, if you bless, now, don't, now this is a separate experiment now, don't, don't mix the two. If you bless the one plant and curse the other plant, the blessed plant flourishes, the cursed plant withers, and just a few, few days you see the dramatic difference of that. Now, if you reverse it and you start blessing the one that was cursed and cursing the one that was blessed, that works also, but it takes 10 times longer. In other words, if you curse the one plant for five days, uh, now you have to bless it 10 times longer to get it to recuperate. So those are two little experiments you can do uh, at home. If you, if you take a bar magnet and you sprinkle, uh, put the bar magnet underneath the paper and then you sprinkle iron filings <clears throat> on top of the paper, you'll see a pattern exist of where the iron filings surround the magnet in a pattern that looks like that. And so they teach, therefore, that the magnetism at the South Pole and North Pole are identical because on a two-dimensional picture like this, you see the exact same pattern. But Ralph Sierra taught us that that's not the case at all. You have to look at it in a three-dimensional pattern. And he had a very crude method of uh, tying this bar magnet to a stick and putting the stick down into a water, a jar of water that had iron filings in the bottom and he would agitate the water. And the iron filings would come up and make a pattern around the North Pole that turned counterclockwise. And when he reversed it and put the South Pole in the water and agitated the water, it made a pattern around the South Pole, the magnet that went clockwise. And I wanted to uh, demonstrate this to you and, and pass this around the room that, that you can actually see the difference. If you, if you approach the television screen with the North Pole, you see it turn counterclockwise? And if you approach it with the South Pole, it turns clockwise. So we'll, we'll pass that around the room and you can play with it. Any cathode ray tube. However, don't, don't do it to a color television set. 
it, it'll, it'll screw up your color. <laughs> So, so do, do a, a black and white TV. The north pole of your magnet is turning counterclockwise. And the south pole of your magnet is turning clockwise. So when, when the opposite poles face each other, they're turning in the same direction. But if you have two norths, now they're turning in opposite directions. This is turning counterclockwise, or this is turning counterclockwise. And so I'm a pretty strong person, but you, you can't put those together. Or and you can't put the two south poles together because they're both turning clockwise, which is the opposite direction when they face each other. But if you have a north and south facing each other, now you better get your fingers out of there <laughs> because they're turning in the same direction. So I came up with this in, ingenious invention here. This is, a, this is a cow magnet. And they feed them to the cow and they lodge in the first stomach. And the purpose is to collect barbed wire that might be in the hay they're eating to prevent the hay, uh, prevent the barbed wire from going down into the second, third, and fourth, fifth stomachs. So I went into the feed store and, and bought myself a bunch of these cow magnets. And I was dressed like I'm dressed tonight. And the guy looked at me and says, you're, you're not going to use these for cows, are you? <laughs> <laughs> there is how you, you structure the water with the North Pole. And then <clears throat> two weeks later, you can push your magnet through like that, turn it over, and now you can structure your water with the South Pole. And so that's, that's called a cow magnet, available at uh, feed stores. And so that would be also how you could do it if you're going to water your plants with South Pole water or, or, or North Pole water. How long do you have to leave it in there? Very short time. You know, like 10 seconds is plenty of time. Well, we, we use this size magnet for a five-gallon bottle. 